My name is Milion Belay. I'm the general coordinator of the Alliance for Food Sovereignty in Africa. And what stood out for me is one, the commitment of members. Members were very much committed. And the second is we've managed to really explore what we have done, you know, um, since we've started as AFSA in the working groups. AFSA members' uh, participation is uh, ensured and strengthened through members' activity. Uh, this members' activity is uh, what we call working groups. So the working groups are the chance to evaluate themselves and plan for the future. And also we had a food policy day. In that food uh, policy day we produced a statement uh, which is going to be sent to the African Union. And that's uh, being communicated to so many people right now. And using this opportunity also we have put another statement on our opposition to OPO, OPO 91. Now, in the name of uh, transforming our agriculture, transforming our food system, um, and an outside agenda is imposed on Africa. Its, our, its outside agenda is based on the use of agrochemicals, um, uh, based on the use of the hybrid varieties, high-yielding varieties, and based on reorienting African agriculture um, to market, you know, market-based agriculture. It's based on an imposition of one kind of thinking, one kind of idea, um, and, and, and capital city-based um, planning. We are endorsing agroecology because it's a bottom-up uh, way of planning. It's based on the knowledge of Africans. It's based on the seeds, the diversity in seeds, the diversity in other agri agricultural activities that we have. It's based on the diversity of knowledge that we have. Uh, we are supporting agroecology uh, and in, term, in, in the bigger context of uh, food sovereignty because it, has, it allows us to use culturally appropriate food. It's based on human rights. You know, the human rights is a very, very critical agenda, the right to food, and agroecology respects that. And it's a system of production where um, production is sensitive to, to the environment, you know, to the biosphere. So we will address the issues of climate change, biodiversity loss, resilience, all that. And finally, it, it, it would help us to eat healthy and nutritious food and to produce more. We have to produce more and we can produce more through agriculture.